But oh uh, well, man. Controller problems aside, I'll just use the normal PS2 controller then. We have... Oh, hello to the YouTubes and stuff like that. And hello again, Noodle, if you didn't hear me. Um... We have single event, world tour, and big wave. What the hell is big wave? Just one. One player. What's up, bruh? No. Kenji, complete amateur season. Okay, so we don't have anybody unlock. Oh, wait, no, we have... Her from the Black Hearts. Blue Crush. Okay, so we have a couple different people. Oh, he was actually the last one. I know this course like the back of my head. What, Balance, strength, weight, and tricks. Okay, so a little bit worse balance than Luke, <laughs> but otherwise just better. I'm not just really good racing. balance, but less strength and weight. Even less weight, but even in strength, but better balance. I wonder what, like, what does the balance and stuff do? It seems like. He seems like the most balanced one. Strength, weight, balance. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and try him out, I think. Options? Oh, it's like game options. Okay. I thought it would be like, I don't know, cart options, options or something. Options. Okay, yeah, no, we don't need none of that. Luke, Luke Lamouche. Seems a little weird. <laughs> Okay, so we only have the Aftershock right now. R1, R2, L1, L2 are all tricks. X is gas. Squares trick mod and turbo. Push down, then up, sub dive. Push left, then right, barrel roll. What is sub dive? So we're just racing, right? <laughs> is there like... Man, I have no idea where we're supposed to be going right now. I think we're going the right direction. Okay, we got more Mega. Can we... Was that bad? How do we actually know the course? I kind of wish, like, the other racers were here just so I knew where the hell I was going. So we could kind of, like, follow them. <laughs> did, what mode did we pick? Was it Big Wave or did we pick Single Event? Because maybe Big Wave isn't about racing, but maybe it's about like doing tricks. Turbo City, here we come. Is that the only like thing though? Only ramp? Maybe we should just went to like single event first or something. Oh, oh. Can we just like hit this hill and not really. <laughs> I was trying to do something, but it did not work. Let's exit this mode maybe. Maybe maybe we should try just like single event or something first. I don't actually remember, but we must have went into Big Wave. Because this is... I don't have the case for this game. This is a racing game, though, is it not? I'm pretty sure it, start it looks like a racing Welcome game. Single event. Combo Ooh. mode, trick mode. Okay, Select race mode. Player. I understand how racing Select works. Rider. Let's try that. Cycle. Same dude. You Select crowd. Select venue. Diff Difficulty, Difficulty select. Amateur. Select venue. Delta Factor? A oh, Delta Factor. <laughs> Hyperion Gorge? That sounds cool. Meso Mesotech? Permafrost. Neotropic? Aquatica? Okay, there's a few different 
race uh, tracks at least. Let's try Hyperion Gorge. That sounds cool. Ooh, it's like a downhill jam, a downhill battle style thing. I'm into it. Just point A, point B, no laps. Looks like there's multiple different ways you could go, like paths you could do, which is nice. Switches things up a little bit, and presumably some would be faster than the others, so... Like, if you have some uh, experience with the game, you know? Know what the hell you're doing, take uh, quicker laps. This one's all about street gates. Just okay. I don't know if there's any, like, you know, in Mario Kart, you hit X at, like, a specific time to try and get the boost. I don't know if there's anything like that in the game. Kappa Cow, what's up, man? I realize this isn't a kart racer, but I kind of wish... Oh, God. Jesus, dude. We're, <laughs> we're doing terrible. I kind of wish there was some uh, some power-ups that you could get, you know? The fire shit of people. That would be fun. I don't believe this is meant to be, like, a serious, serious kart... It's not a kart racer at all. That's why. I don't believe this is meant to be, like, a serious racing game anyways. So just throwing some shit like that in there for the lols. What place are we even in? Are we in? Or is it just a time trial? Sort of race. I mean, it said race, so I was thinking like other people. But I'm not seeing anybody else. Did we get those points or did we lose them because we hit dry land? I have no idea. <laughs> Some advertisements for the Black Hearts Racing Group, though. That's fun. Kind of want to go through the gates to get more boost. Well, we failed. Can we go? Oh, I kind of want to try that path to the right. It's a little late now, though. I see, like, there's the little bar to the left that just shows the, the arrow, like, right in the middle. I have no idea what the hell that's about. I don't think there's anybody else around. I can't, like, look behind me or anything, I don't think. Oh, no, that's, like, a restart button. Okay, we got the points that time. So yeah, it must be because we hit dry land. We must have lost all the points that we would have gotten for that one trick. No, you're good, love. Enjoy your bath. Surprised you're done eating already, though. Oh, that would have been another cool path. We would have had to, I don't know, I guess have a boost and like jump up there. Yeah, just don't forget your rubber doggy. Right. Oh, yes, to the right. I was hoping it would be more like traditional racing, just, you know, on jet skis. <laughs> but I think I'm, uh... I think I was wrong on that. <laughs> Did they make ones that don't get gross moldy stuff inside? You could probably just like with a regular rubber ducky use like a uh, like a medicine syringe or something to like get some or I guess just like put some disinfectant in a bowl and then just suck it up inside there every once in a while to stop it from getting like mildewy. A little bit of bleach or disinfectant of your clothes. Something along those lines, right? Oh god. It handles a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, we are on a jet ski, I guess that's probably to be expected. You just use that for seasoning. Yum! <laughs> Oh, 
is it a score challenge? It's got to be like a time attack. This course lasts a lot longer than I expected. Right or left? Uh, right. It's got the boost, so... Oh, nope, that was... <laughs> I think going for that boost might have screwed us just a little bit there. Seventy-five miles an hour on a jet ski. I admit I'm not sure I've ever been on a jet ski, but that seems awfully fast. Hate to see it. I mean, if there's other racers here, then we did really well. <laughs> oh, that's the track? That straight line on the left? Your mama didn't raise that's a uh, pretty questionable map there. Just a straight line with an arrow on it. Okay, rank one, time five. So yeah, it was just a time attack. Well, that's dumb. I wanted to actually race other people. That's why I picked race, man. I wonder what the... What was the other option then? World World Tour? Press start to begin. Welcome to JetX 2 Yeah, because Big Wave, I'm, I'm assuming it's just... Screw around, get as many points as you can. Welcome to JetX 2 Single event... Combo, trick, and race mode. Race mode is what we just did. Definitely wasn't a race. So let's try this one. The presumably story mode. Kind of wish we had the case for this one. I could probably look up the uh, the manual for it, but it'd be nice to have a little bit of explanation what the hell is going on as far as like the different modes go and stuff. Drop my water bottle. Fishing, picturesque pine forest. If so, follow me, folks, into a nature lover's dream. This is Slipstream. Well, uh, it was. Hydro dam, anyone? I love the smell of free electricity. Don't worry, those salmon will get upstream somehow. Right, right. Take a look at these rocking redwoods. Could be the last time you see them. One deforestation nation, indivisible, with liberty and slick streams for all. Pay attention, kids, or you might be up a creek without a paddle. Actual gameplay aside, I like the courses, man. The tracks. Combined trick and time equals winner. Oh. You need 20 season points to continue. 20 more season points. So the races are... Oh no, okay, there are actually other people this time. But it's a, a combo of... I'm assuming place, time, and tricks? I mean, I only saw it... It only said time and tricks, I think, but... Do we have any boost? We don't have any boost. Oh, we kept it that time. That's so weird, man. I don't understand why we lost the points the first time I tried to, to do one there. Oh, let me have it. Indian air? Do it again. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> we were sideways as hell. We're fine. Everything's fine. I wonder why there weren't like these ramps and stuff on the the course we just did i don't know if that course just doesn't have them or if it was that that race mode that we were doing the single event race mode just doesn't have ramps for some reason
Oh, no, we're not going to make it over that. That's definitely a shortcut, though. You know what this makes me want to play, though? The Star Wars pod racing game. <laughs> it's, I don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure there was one or two courses that were, like, on water for that game. Although I could be mistaken. But either way, that's what it makes me think of. And I just remember having a ton of fun with that as a kid. We are in, like, solid last place, though. I don't know what we're doing to be so slow. Is it the ramps? Do the ramps slow us down? I mean, they give us boosts, so you would think it would be a little bit quicker, but... I don't know. Hopefully, like, points really play a big role in the, uh... Oh, nice. In the consideration here. I'm sure hitting stuff as much as we are probably isn't helping anything either. I really don't get much boost from these things. Either. Backwards somersault? What? What? How did we not... How did we not land that? We were sitting firmly on the... Oh, whatever. Something I obviously don't understand about the game. Wait, how are we in six? How'd that dude get ahead of us? Is there like... Must be a secret path on on the side or something. It'd be really handy if there was like an actual mini map and not just this straight ass line. This is the amateur difficulty, by the way. So, <laughs> so if the points don't end up getting us the win, then uh. Ugh. See, that one I feel like we ended a little bit late, but we still got the points for it. You might not get last place. <laughs> Maybe. He's gaining on us, though. <laughs> I got pedal to the metal, man. We have no boost left. Fourth place, let's go. I wonder, yeah, maybe we should be optimizing for speed, not necessarily for tricks. Okay, yeah, that screwed us up. Not landing that. That slowed us right the hell down. Let's go. Boost for days. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if it was worth going all the way out of our way to grab that other boost, man. You lost. Okay. Now you're going to band camp. <laughs> you lost. Okay. Now you're going to band camp. What? We got 11 points. Trick results, though, we got second place. So that's, what, 28 points? So is that enough to move forward? Yeah, we've qualified. You have earned valuable career points. You seem to increase your craft's performance stats. Uh, speed. I feel like that's what we're mostly lacking right now. So we're just kind of slow. Handling-wise and everything, I feel like it's fine. We got second place in tricks, and I hardly even know what the hell I'm doing. We just need to be able to keep up with everybody else. Delta Factor. 
Doesn't seem like we can actually pick a different course or anything, so. Seems good to me. I don't know what the sub dive is. I forgot to try to barrel roll. Left and right. I'm assuming that's left and right while in the air. It's like, yeah, here, just on the water, it does nothing. nice that the points are split up between the two things, you know? Between points and, and time or placement. That way if you like the trick part of the game more, the doing tricks, you can still advance. I appreciate the options, you know? Oh, you're a dick, man. I built up so much speed, too. Oh, shit. Well... No! <laughs> shit! <laughs> that was bad. That cost us. So did that. I'm... Oh, my God. This is... How do I turn around? You can't turn without... Acceleration. There we go. Well, somehow we're not in last place. <laughs> I don't, I really don't understand how, but. But I guess thank you for that game. Oh no, now we're in sixth place. They must have been like on a different path. No way, we're back to fifth. I'm starting to think the game doesn't really know what place you're in at any time. Maybe it's like, with as many different paths as there are, it's hard for the game to know how far you actually are in the course at any one time. So I'm assuming it uses some sort of checkpoint system like what Mario Kart and stuff would use, but... Come on, we can make it up there. Yes! Is this good, though? We want to be up here? Oh hell yeah. Dude, me too. Probably not fast enough to make this jump, though. Nope. Sound like Mario freaking yelling there. Wait, did we just go in a circle? No. No, we yeah, no. This tree have collision? Thankfully no. Doesn't seem like it. That would have really sucked, man. Get knocked the hell out from the tree. Our placement's probably gonna suck again, but hopefully, we do decent on the score. I mean, 18,000 is not too bad. I don't see the end yet. Superman scrap? That's pretty sick. I would die, man, trying to do that shit. So, I mean, obviously it would be best to get, like, first place and, in, in both time and score. But, honestly, we could probably just, 
Oh, never mind. Our trick results that time suck. Fourth, please? Man, they stepped up their game quick. Except for Taylor. Holy shit, Taylor, <laughs> Taylor only has 2,000? Or no, 22,000? 161? Oh, we only have 23,000. It's just so much smaller. Like, the font used for Taylor's score there. I thought it was nothing. Oh, whatever. Did we qualify for the next level? That's all we're really here for anyways, right? Unlock all the levels and shit. Empyrean Gorge. Yeah, okay. And this one, we've done once before. Not that that's really going to help me anyway, if we're being honest. But, you know, it's nice. Maybe we'll notice one or two little uh, sections of the map. What happens if we press all four trick buttons? It seems like you can combo trick buttons, like press R1 and, and L2 at the same time to do tricks and stuff like that. So I do wonder what like all four would do. So long, second place. That was, whoa, bro. What? Why is this dude ramming me? I didn't realize this was fucking bumper cars. Destruction Derby here. Heart attack. Is that worth more points? Double hand heart attack. Oh, bro. We're too slow. Somehow we're still in first? No? I was going to say, wait a second. They're all in front of me. How am I in first place? This game is... A little jank, I think. <laughs> just, just a wee bit. Ow. Oh. That was unintentional error. Hitting everything in the world is not going to help us out at all. Oh, we missed a ramp? Oh, God. Trying to actually place in a decent spot time-wise. But I don't want to neglect the scores. Seems like you... So I'm guessing if you don't land, like, flat, you know, you lose a bunch of speed. Kind of like, uh in a BMX game or something like that. That might be a reason why you wouldn't want to do a trick clear until right before you hit the water. Because when you're doing a trick, your jet ski does seem to kind of like, see kind of like go crooked. I don't know, we still slowed down a lot right there. I'm not sure if it actually really matters or not. How you land. And we got the creepy eyes, the dead eyes. Ugh. You really struggle with that thing. The best part is as soon as you get it how you want it, somebody else is gonna pop in and breed him. Am I gonna... Barely. Oh, we need to try and barrel roll. Oh, my God. Well, we were in third place. 
There we go. Uh, oh god, how do I, how do I flip it back over? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was less a barrel roll and more just a, I don't know, lay on your side and die. That was not good. I mean, I'm, I got the pedal all the way down. It's kind of hurting my thumb how hard I'm pressing it. Uh, apparently we're in first. That's pretty sick. Are we going to keep it though? Uh, nope. Oh, Jesus. Okay, get it flattened out. Thank you. I really don't think that was worth it, man. Went from second first to... It's fine. Just keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. Nope. Barely, bro. Let's go. I feel like we're going to need more points, though, if we're going to take that true top spot. The, your most basic moves, like the can-can, for instance, definitely don't give you as much score as, like, the double heart attack handstand or whatever the fuck, you know? Bro, I really wish I had some boost right now. They're going to overtake me. Oh, no, we're going to overtake them? What? Ah, oh, dude. No, bro. Okay, well, I mean third. It's still the highest we've gotten so far. If we were just a little bit faster, though, we could have gotten second, man. Yeah, we're not even on the board for points. Failed to qualify? Rude. So what, we gotta do the same thing but get more trick points? I wonder if the um, if the, the points roll over. Like however many we are in that time for getting third place. I wonder if we get to keep those points to continue trying to unlock more. Oh, okay. Well. How did I barrel roll there? I literally wasn't even trying to. Oh, you have to like hold it. Oh. You like tap left and then hold right and you just keep barrel rolling until you let go of right. That's why we stopped in such a weird position. So I'm assuming this is the same thing, but for, yeah. And you can combo those with tricks? Maybe? Tell you what, though, I really like the uh, the wave effects, the water physics here. I mean, I didn't land it because I was too focused on trying to see if it even works that way, but it does. So that's, I don't know if that's for a combo. Or if that's just for more points on the trick itself. I wonder if you can like fall off completely. Off the jet ski. Just get completely fucked. If you always stay attached to it, at least. I feel like you probably always stay attached to it. But it'd be fun if you just, like, comically flew off of it and then, I don't know, Lakitu showed up and just <laughs> picked you up and put you back on it. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> I think... I think we should focus on just doing regular tricks instead of like trying to combo with a barrel roll or, or a front flip back flip. 
I think that's messing us up more than anything. Ow. My god, dude. I forgot to let go of the actual trick buttons. Yeah, those are worth a lot, though. If I can learn to stop fucking that up, I should be able to get to the top, or at least near the top of the trick board in no time. You can just run into my ass like that. Ow. Just gonna save the boost for whenever we get close to like ramps and things. Like this. Yeah, multiplier, let's go. Now, do we also get a multiplier for doing different moves, though? Like if we did heart attack into bicycle or something. Multipliers are where it's at for the score, man. So bicycle into Superman into bicycle again. Two times multiplier. Yeah, screw the backflips and shit like that. We just need to vary up our tricks a bit more. During the same jump. On the horse, nice. Yeah, just doing two moves gave us the same one and a half that, uh, adding a front flip did. I think we got this. For the trick, at least. I feel like our uh, first place here is going to get fucked up in no time. What? That was a good one. How did we fail that? 15,000, man. That was half our total points. That sucks. I keep thinking we need to go, like, up there. I'm not sure how we would do it. Maybe with enough boost right before the... There's, like, a little... A bit of a wave. That's, yep. Uh, as soon as I started doing that pommel, whatever the fuck, I realized it was too, too late. That move takes a second to complete. We're getting greedy now. We had the points in the bag and we fucked it up. <laughs> that times three though, man, it's, it's tempting. Is there at least one more big jump? This doesn't look like a big jump. No, it's not. Come on, man. Give us a big one somewhere. Here we go. Do the three. Just do the three. Yeah, I really am, dude. This dude keeps making me think of Mario, man. It's just fucking it's weird. Like some sort of knockoff Mario. Uh, 
are we gonna clear it? We cleared it. Okay. I was scared to do too many tricks there because I thought we were gonna hit that bridge in the middle. Lying above us up there. No wonder the game's so confused right now. It says we're in third, but I guarantee in no time it's gonna drop us back to like sixth place. See, there we probably could have got a third one in if we were quick enough with it. Still the 48,000. I feel like that's pretty respectable point wise. Second. Can we actually get second? Let's go, dude. And we should have at least got on the board for points. I don't know about, like, top spot. I'll take it, man. <laughs> top spot on points, second place on time. You've qualified for the next race. Let's go. Did we get a... One new wetsuit, one new crafty cow. Yeah, two points, more speed. Yeah, just more speed, man. Every time. Gotta go fast. Plus, like, the faster we go, presumably the more air we can get. The more air time we have, the more tricks we can pull off, the better the combos, etc. So... Speed in general just feels like the way to go. The handling, I feel like, isn't actually too bad outside of just, you know, me being bad and, and experienced with the game and the way it works. I don't know if that also plays into, like, how well you can do, like, spins and shit in the air, like, for tricks. There's no way up. I wouldn't be surprised if it's related in some way. 33 more season points, okay. I wonder what our top speed actually is now. It doesn't really look like we're going any faster. Oh, can you actually... Oh, yeah, no. You could actually get on top of this thing. That'd be pretty sick. Really gotta be going quick for that, though. Is this gonna. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure for a second if those doors were gonna open, but it looked like that was the right place to be going. It had the boost right in front of it. Oh, damn. Wait, what? <laughs> I was not trying to barrel roll there, and I don't know why it said that we landed the barrel roll. That did not look like a landing, man. That looked like a failing. Seventeen grand, let's go. That's a hell of a drop. Actually, been better. Oh, there's a ramp over there. So. Probably not this direction. Can we go up here? Bro. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you were meant to get up here this way, but uh, it worked. Oh shit! I should not have tried. I thought we were gonna get some air there. We didn't. Roger. I don't know if we're fast enough for this. We are. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay. I really wish we were hitting some of these, uh, boost pads right now. I don't know if that was really a shortcut. If we had hit all the boosts before the ramps, probably. That felt pretty slow, honestly. No ramp? Oh, there's one up there. Save the boost. Up here. Oh shit, maybe too much. Yeah, let's go. You miss games with attitude? That's my like thing with this game, man. I like everything about it, except this is the only mode that's fun, which is just upsetting. <laughs> like the single player mode, the single event mode, whatever. I mean maybe if I did like the the other modes, the combo. Or, or score, whatever it was called. But like the race mode, I was racing all by myself, which was lame. But like this mode though is actually pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I obviously suck with uh, with these things. Ooh, that's a big one. Come on, one more. Come on, land it, let's go. If nothing else, we can get the top score spot again. We need at least, what was it, 33 points? Top slot, I think, gives us 20. That dude got some air off that. He's still flying. Let's go, times four. We gotta have the top spot, man. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, though. Yeah, we got fourth place. That was literally exactly the right amount, man. <laughs> Let's go. 13 for our placement, 20 for top spot on score. We got a new rider, a new craft, new difficulty level, which, uh, <laughs> two new track. Three points, though. You know, dump them all in speed, man. Gotta go fast. Now that I've figured out the obvious with the, uh... <laughs> Oh shit, Difficulty Pro. Ooh. <laughs> now that I figured out the obvious with the comboing system is what I was gonna say. I feel like score mode isn't too bad, you know? Or the score points aren't too bad. But actually winning the race is still a uh, bit of a challenge. Maybe more so now that it's throwing us into pro. Do you like crystal clear water? Trout fishing. Hit your oh wait, is this the first track again? It is. Just first track, different difficulty. Every time we put our speed up, I feel like our speed's not really going up. We still seem to be mix maxing out around like mid 60s on flat, 70s on downhill. Maybe we should dump some points into acceleration instead. Shit, dude. Well, that's that's not gonna help anything. Oh, these waves are insane. That was landed. Garbage. That that was also just rude, lady. Maybe we're going faster. We do seem to be outspeeding them. Whenever we're just like on a straightaway without boost. Damn it. Well, I don't think we're going to place in this one. Honestly, on either hold. Unless we get really lucky with uh, a ramp coming up somewhere. 
I would love to get around like I'm trying to remember what we got last time on this level. I feel like we probably need 40 something to be in a in a decent spot. I think it's the game though, I think it's just me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think I just suck. Oh, that's new. We're not gonna land it, but that's new. I wonder, have I done L1 with R1 R2? I'm just curious what the other trick is. I'm pretty sure I've done all the other combinations so far. Outside of like adding you know, barrel rolls and backflips and shit like that. Skydiver? Did we just. Bro. <laughs> Did we just let go completely? How's that not worth more points? I don't even see the other people on the map, dude. I don't think we were ready for bro. The problem with that one is you can't even see the jet ski to know like how close you are to the ground. You just gotta kind of guess. Oh god. Hmm. I'm gonna complete the race just so we have an idea of where we need to be score-wise. Time-wise, we're obviously fucked. How did they get so far ahead of me, though? I know we fucked up a few times, but damn. I don't even see anybody, man. On the minimap in person, nothing. They are gone. What are these? Oh, those are just boats. Okay. They've all just been sitting here at the finish line for the past 15 minutes, Someone waiting for us. Practice. We got 5 minutes, 23 seconds. What are they going to be at? Like 420? 440. Uh, yeah. 115,000? Holy shit, dude. That's a lot higher than I thought. Fifth place had 100,743. 100, that's a big difficulty jump. <laughs> Let's exit the world tour for a moment. Is it possible for us to like go back? I'm surprised it didn't have us go like completely through all of the stages on amateur before it started throwing us on um, like redoing tracks but on a higher difficulty. The trustiest craft tsunamis. That must be the new craft we unlocked. Fortunately, it's more difficult to handle and less stable in rough waters. 
barely, man. It's better than everything else. No, yeah, let's take that. Yeah, I think this is just like some sort of free roam mode. Now that I know a little bit more about the game, I'm gonna try it again here, but... Like, we're counted down, and we have max boost, but there's nobody else here. There doesn't seem to be any, like, time limit or anything. Wait, when you hit Mega... Oh, it just started, like, draining itself. You don't seem to be going any faster. I guess you just can't hold on to any boost once it gets into, the, like, that top bracket there. That's fine. Yeah, I want to hit this ramp. How fast can we go? 77? It's not that fast. Faster? If I could go any faster, I would. <laughs> I literally don't think it's possible. Not with this craft, at least. It's weird, like, I'm all for having a free roam mode like this, you know? Like a practice mode, sorta. But it's weird it's not on, like, just one of the regular courses. Right? I, the game really doesn't seem to want me to be up here. <laughs> oh, now I just want to know if it's possible. We need to get some more boost. Those like tiki torchy, tiki torchy, tiki torch looking things, that's probably the edge of the map, right? I'm assuming that's just an invisible wall if I run into it, these things. Uh, oh no, it just, okay, counts us down, respawns us, that's fine, that works. Right, yeah, restart, because it'll give me the mega. Now, where was that section of the map that I was trying to... Trying to get out of? It's over here somewhere, I think. There's absolutely no reason for this. It'll probably just respawn us again like it did when we went beyond the, the poles, but I'm curious. Hit this, it'll be good. Yeah. Get over here. Yes. Uh, or not. Yeah, I obviously don't know this map. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. I'm having a heart attack. This seems like the best thing to do, assuming this works the same in normal races, would be to try to get the bar full and then just leave it full until, like, the finish line. Because then every time you hit boost, no matter how big or small the boost is, it fills up that big chunk of the bar. The only problem is you can't, like, save it. you got to use it all now. Lele, what's up? Let's go, dude! Okay, so we made it over, but it's just a bunch of random pools. So there, is, so there was no point to it at all. <laughs> Bro, how is that not worth some points right there? We just wall rode the fuck out of that mountain. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> what is even going on? Hydrate?
just for you. You're welcome. Yeah, I really don't understand the point of this mode, I guess. Maybe it's to get the, uh... Oh, shit, we're upside down. <laughs> Maybe it's to get, like, the hang of new riders and or... new crafts. That's the only thing I can think of. So there doesn't seem to be anything else to do. Just ride around in circles, hit random ramps, and that's... That's pretty much it. I'm gonna try the other, like, modes in the single player, single event. He reminds you of Pepsi Man? I have no idea why he reminds you of Pepsi Man, this guy. I mean, he looks a little insane and he's wearing a jumpsuit. Like, oh, <laughs> I guess maybe that's why. Maybe you just have Pepsi Man on the on the mind. Select venue. Select venue. You dream of of Pepsi Man. Have we done no, we haven't done permafrost before. Let's try permafrost. It's the blue and red. I guess, man. I'm gonna. Hold on. Pepsi Man. I don't see it. Pepsi Man's like 90% blue anyways. He's blue and silver. The only thing red on him is the, the Pepsi logo. <laughs> At least in like the Pepsi Man PS1 game. I don't know like fan renditions. There's a couple of them that he's wearing some red. Where he's like red and gray. From his game, yeah, all blue, dude. Blue and blue and silver, gray, whatever you want to call it. Let's be honest, would you fully remember either way? I didn't. I had to look it up. <laughs> I haven't seen Pepsi Man since... I think I might have watched somebody do a speedrun at a GDQ not too long ago. And then, was it Kid Icarus? I feel like there was somebody on YouTube that I watched that did a a review, not like a playthrough, but a review of it. I don't remember if it was Kid Icarus or somebody else, though. I'm not sure if this is... I think this was the combo mode, right? So we trying to get the biggest combo or just the biggest score overall? In combo 1.5, that's something. I'm trying to build up my boost meter. How did we not land that? That's garbage. Thought there was more red on him. Rip, Ringo, burn. <laughs> Rain always go burr. Oh, by the way, our favorite robot caught off on me today, so that was fun. At work, lately. I'm not gonna make it. So anytime we wreck, I guess that's... Oh, we're going the wrong way. Son of a bitch. Anytime we wreck, we lose all boost. I guess that's one reason to not build up the boost meter. To fool like I was thinking of doing. Because then if we fail a trick, we just we die. Oh, that's right. You were there today. I forgot. <laughs> Talk about brain going burr, dude. I feel it. There we go. This is our combo spot here. One, two, three, four, five. Times four. Let's go. Oh, and that filled up our mega bar. Okay, now we just can't fuck up anything and we'll lose all of our boots. If anything happens, that would be Jesus Christ, I can't steer. <laughs> he gave me this ability. But that really helps with the speed, though. Because any points at all, man. Hitting a boost pad or, or hitting any points just maxes it the hell out. Come on, 
we can make it. Yup. I feel like we just unlock the keys to the kingdom here with these boosts. No, oh, okay. Cool. Oh. I thought we, I thought we bailed, dude. How did that dude get so far ahead of us? Oh, he's on some sort of shortcut. Well, look at you go, aren't you, fancy? Still in second at least, that's not too bad. Son of a bitch. Well we were until we hit stuff. How do you have so much boost? It's my boost. Alright, burn it all. Second place. Not bad. What about score or combo or whatever the hell we were going for? We were originally just gonna avoid everyone possible because yesterday was hell in there. With interest. Uh, you weren't even gonna stop and say hi? How rude. 84 grand? 84,000? So wait, what was the... I don't know what the actual, like, goal was there. <laughs> I thought it was combo mode, so I thought we were trying to get, like, the highest combo or, like, multiplier, but... It doesn't seem to matter. We just got judged like we do in the, the World Series or whatever it's called. No, that's so rude, dude. You weren't even going to stop and say hello. Welcome to Jet X20. Then what's Select trick mode? Player. Select rider. What? Select craft. Select venue. Uh, is there any other we haven't done? I don't think we've done Neotropic. Try that one. Well, that looks fun. The little, like, swirly thing there. Problem is, I think I'd much rather just be playing, like, Mario Kart, you know? <laughs> it's fun. Don't get me wrong. But there only really seems up, to be, like, please? one mode to the game. Hey, you're gonna need some tricks to win this thing. Top five trick scores? Tricks equals time. Run out. Okay, this one's a little different at least. So are we just trying to make it to the end, or is there any boost? Oh, wait, no. I do want to build up the boost if I can. I wonder what those X's are for. The days have been two truck nights in our favorite robot and I were constant. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> For all of it. That sucks. Today wasn't too bad, honestly. Even with the uh, the call off that we had. Like, I would have preferred not to have it, of course, but it wasn't terrible. We got done with everything that we were meant to get done. Got a little bit extra stuff done earlier in the day, so not too bad. Trying to build up my views, that's all I really want. How do we like these X's are floating above the water? How do we just jump randomly? Circle doesn't do anything, right? Triangle doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, oh, we get a score multiplier when we hit those. That's sick. I'm still not sure how we're supposed to hit just like these random ones laying around all over the place, though. You must be able to like... Some of them you can probably jump off the rocks, but maybe you just got to get lucky with the waves on the other one. We have left a minute and 30 seconds. Whoa. 
Definitely like the racing better, I think, than just doing the scores. It gives us like a secondary goal while running around the level. Oh, well. I still feel like the wall ride should be worth something. <laughs> Nope, off the walls, please. You couldn't find your way out of an empty room. Never even heard of this game? I feel like I've heard of it before when I was, you know, younger. Played the PS2 more regularly, but I don't know. I could just be yeah, yeah, be imagining it. Oh no, 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 that's oh. Okay, we didn't lose all of our games, thankfully. We lost a chunk, but not all of it. Got 30 seconds left. I'm still not even sure what the real goal is. I'm guessing just points. Yo, too bad originality is a requirement. Player one, hey, you better do some tricks quick, or you're gonna be out of the ring. How's the air up there? We went over it. That's not fair. <laughs> Bruh. We would have gotten so much more time if we had hit that. Well, I think we're out of time. Yeah. Nope, that's it. Looks like player one just ran out of time. 95,871. What was the goal? This is bad. I mean, it gave us the top score. Which is something, I guess. If you're able to tomorrow, you're going to try and steal back your old PS2 games from your stepdad's house? You should, man. Did you have anything good? I still need to uh, get a hold of my cousin one of these days and see if he has my, or can find my binder of all of my old PS2 stuff. I, at this point, I've gotten most of my old PS2 games back. Um, the big ones that I had were all of the Dragon Ball Z games. I had all of those. And a couple of those are actually worth money these days. And then, although they were all loose, I believe, because after the fire, I think all the cases were ruined. Um, I don't think I had anything else that was, like, rare or anything. I might have had one of the Silent Hill games. I know I played a bunch of one, but I don't remember if I just rented it a lot or if I actually had it. Like, my own copy of it. Um, I had, like, a bunch of Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts and god of war and all of that stuff but i've already like rebought all of that stuff so you kept all your cases i had my cases but i didn't usually when i was younger much smarter now but when i was younger i didn't usually keep the games in the cases though i just kept them in like a, a binder and then i just had all the cases put off to the side somewhere but whenever my house caught fire whenever as a teenager they either got ruined or lost or something i don't don't remember but i don't remember us ever getting the cases back but i know i still had that binder of games and uh i've talked to my cousin previously and he's pretty sure he has it but it's like he thinks it was in his basement somewhere and i just haven't had a chance to go to his house and try to find it with him or anything like that you're so OCD about the cases when you were younger now nowadays i am because like how much more I realize how much more games are worth with the cases. Personally, I don't really care about the cases. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, like, I don't give a shit about the cases. Um, they're kind of pretty to look at, but the way I see it is they just take up more space. I do appreciate the, uh, the, the manuals for some of these old games, but, like, it's whatever. I can find them online if I really need to. But knowing what I know now with how much more the games are worth just from having the case in the manual, yeah, I try to keep them, or I keep them all together. It's not trying. 
all of my games are in their cases. Besides, do you like crystal clear water, trout fishing, picturesque pine forest? If so, follow me. Okay, well, there it is. <laughs> Monster Hunter uh, 3 Ultimate. Well, uh, it was. <laughs> I found that case in my my pile of movies that I had to go through. I think I'm pretty sure it's still in my Wii U. Cause like I don't know where else I would have possibly have put it, so. It's got to be, like, in my Wii U still. And I just haven't played on my Wii U in... <laughs> Probably, like, five, four... How long has it been since the Switches came out? Because <laughs> it was probably, like, a few months before um, the Switch came out, at least, since I played on my Wii U. Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits. Chocobo, hello, sir. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I am excited to play one of the Tactics games. And I meant to look it up, but I, I kind of forgot. Is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance the same story as the PlayStation 1 Final Fantasy Tactics? I was not trying to do a... I'm just restarting. I wasn't trying to do a back there. Anyways, is Tactics Advance and uh, Final Fantasy Tactics on the PS1 the same story? Or... Okay, so it is two separate stories. Okay. Gameplay-wise, is there, like, a large difference between the two? Like, because right now I have the list set up to play Final Fantasy Tactics on the PS1 first. And then play uh, Tactics Advance on the Game Boy. But... Like, if it's not that big of a difference between the two, then I don't really care if the story isn't like super connected or anything like that. I know it's set in the same world, but yeah. Oh god, the blue Wii U cases, how? How what? <laughs> You're yelling how, but I don't know why. How what? What happened? PS1 has a better story? No shit, okay. I would have thought Tactics Advance would have been better. In that regard. I really want to try the Tactics Ogres games too. Especially the new one that, you know, I can read. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a nice bonus. One of these days I also need to finish uh, XCOM 2. I don't know if anybody here has ever played any of the XCOM games. But I loved XCOM 1, man. Ton of fun with that game. Played the hell out of it. And then I picked up XCOM 2, like, right after release, but I just never really got into it for some reason. I don't know why, but... Oh, can I... Nope, okay. Game said no. I was trying to get over that rock. It didn't work. hard, man. <laughs> we were doing pretty good on the amateur circuit after we started figuring everything out, but fuck, Pro's got us messed up, man. I'm struggling just to keep up with the pack, let alone get ahead of any of them. You're on your way to first, instantly in sixth place. Don't dislike Tactics Advance story. It's in a book that let you know at the beginning at least. You think gameplay for Tactics Advance is better? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're supposed to shake the Wii mode on jumps? God, man. I liked some Wii games, but I hate motion control in games so much. Like, it doesn't bother me in VR because you're in VR. And, like, the PlayStation Move... Yeah, I just wasn't that into it. Like, it was kind of neat with guns, you know, for, like, shooter games and stuff. And then, like, Wii Sports was always fun to just screw around with or whatever. But, like, I don't know, man. It just wasn't great. 
I wish every game company hadn't spent so much time investing in. Oh, that would have been good. 27,000. Well, we done fucked up. Wasted all of our boost, didn't even catch up to him. Garbage. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll open up Tactics Advance then. If there's not that big of a difference between the games and the story's not directly linked, then might as well. Oh, God. <laughs> it's been so long since I've updated that. Jesus. <laughs> oh. If my Google was working, I would ask it to pick a new one for us. Um... Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of anything. I'm so... Hold on. This race is almost over. We lost it anyways. There we go. Here. Where's my mouse? I'll get us a new one right now. Doing it live. Wait, what? There we go. Yeah, go away. I don't care. That's not how you spell. <laughs> what game deserves a Game Boy Advance D-Make? Screw it. I like that. Um, A D-Make? I mean, I've seen a D-Make of it done before, but not for the Game Boy Advance. I would love to see what somebody would do with uh, Bloodborne on the Game Boy Advance. But saying that made me think of Skyrim. Just a Skyrim-like D-Make in general, you know? How close could you get... To, to Skyrim gameplay. Yeah, <laughs> Lele. God damn it. Of course he would, though. But, like... <laughs> but <laughs> oh, I hate you. That aside, though. Um, <laughs> like, how close could you get on the Game Boy Advance to Skyrim? Like, being with the open world and uh, all of the mechanics and everything? That would be really cool. You hate Lele? Yes. <laughs> the problem is, Lili and I are too much alike in a lot of ways, and it's annoying. Hence why she also said, God fucking damn it, right after she said Skyrim. I don't hate either one of you, you freaks. But yeah, no, if I actually had to pick one game, I think it'd be Skyrim. Bloodborne would be fun, but I think Skyrim would be better. What about you, Chocobo? What game would you like to see get the D-Make treatment? It's so freaking rude. What, that I called you guys freaks? I don't make the rules, man. You guys are what you are. You failed to qualify. Please try again. That's rude. Yeah, the game's okay, but I think I'd rather just play Mario Kart. Is that you hate her? He has no manners. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Do I have... I want to see here. I'm pretty much done with this game at this point. I'm just leaving it on as background noise. But I want to see what the different Pokemon Red... Uh, ROM hacks are that I downloaded. My memory sucks, so I can't just remember them. Specifically because whenever we eventually do our Nuzlocke, I think it would be fun to do with one of these hacks. Uh, I've got to pull up my folder here with the ROM hacks in it. Game Boy. So we have a gender select one, but that's like whatever. Pure Shin. Shin Pokemon wouldn't be too bad, I feel like. Shin Pokemon is just like a... That and Pure are just, like, Pokemon, but with, like, bug fixes, um, all of the Pokemon being available in one game, some trainer changes and stuff like that. Emu Edition is a more basic version of those, where just all of the Pokemon are available in each game. That one I think I'm going to do for... I really want to do a playthrough of Pokemon Red, but where I catch every Pokemon in an area before I can go on to the next area. 
like just to get a, a living dex because i've never i've gotten really close to getting a living dex before um in games but i don't think i've ever like actually finished it you're leaning towards dragoon i just want i just want to replay <laughs> i haven't played um legend of the dragoon legend of dragoon yeah legend of dragoon right the dragoons am i legend of... yeah legend of dragoon okay for some reason that didn't sound nice to me i haven't played it in a long time that's all i was saying and uh, I really just want to play it. Well, no, no, I know. <laughs> Obviously not for the Nuzlocke, but just as whether it's a personal challenge or a streamed thing or whatever, I, I really just want to do a living dex, but um, be like forced to get every Pokemon in an area before I move on to the next area. Um, I think Emu Edition would be really good for that, but Shin Pokemon or Battle Factory would also work really well for it. But for the Nuzlocke, I was also wondering, should we do an Iron Maw Nuzlocke? Where, like, if you white out, then it's, uh, GG. You have to start over from the beginning. Uh, let me look up the actual changes here that these make. I mean, the game hasn't even been rolled yet, so I don't know when it's going to happen. But <laughs> I've just been thinking about it a lot lately because I've been playing Pokemon Red uh, personally. That's normally how you play. I figured that's how we would do it, but I was curious what everybody else thought. So Shin Pokemon, there's a bunch of bug fixes. Um, da, 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 da. Yellow's color scheme and stereo sound support, but that's whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There's an experimental 60 FPS mode. Don't really care about that. Zero delay text, which is just nice. There's a hard mode built in, which whatever. Trainer AI has been improved to make the game a little bit harder. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Quality of life improvements, like you get notified when a box is full. It doesn't really matter so much for a Nuzlocke, because, well, yeah, I guess technically, like, if none of the Pokemon died, then you could fill up a box following Nuzlocke rules. Um... No more grinding wild Pokemon nearly. Oh, yeah, this one has the where you can rematch trainers. Run is built into the game. There's a built-in Nuzlocke mode, which is handy in Shin Pokemon. Um, it also has a wild Pokemon randomizer built into it, if you want. Like, these are both options that you can enable in-game for built-in Nuzlocke mode and uh, built-in random randomizer. Um... Let's you know when you caught a Pokemon before, which is handy for Nuzlocke, but I found a website that'll help if we just do, like, the normal Nuzlocke as well. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty much it. There's other, like, small things, like being able to see the DVs of a Pokemon, whether a Pokemon's shiny or not, if you were to transfer it to another game. Just little things like that for Shin Pokemon. Uh, Pure Red... All Pokemon are available. Things have been rebalanced. Quality of life stuff. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm leaning more towards Shin if we use a ROM hack at all and not just like the regular one. We will probably at least use Fast Red, if nothing else. Oh, there's also the Anniversary Edition, which is, or Twitch Plays Pokemon Edition. It was made for Twitch Plays Pokemon. Um, but they released it as, like, a normal ROM hack patch that anybody can use. And it makes all Pokemon available, you know, rebalances trainers, etc., etc. Similar to, like, Shin Pokemon and, um, Pure, Pure Red, but... Not quite as crazy. And I think there was also some Easter eggs put in specifically for Twitch Plays Pokemon, but whatever. Permadeath set battles in Trainer ID? What's Trainer ID? I know what Permadeath is. That's the Iron Man thing. Unless you're talking about Permadeath for just the Pokemon. Um, but yeah, obviously Pokemon would have Permadeath no matter what. Uh, nicknames for all the Pokemon, of course. 
one Pokemon per route, unless it, the first encountered Pokemon is a duplicate, then we can catch the, the second one. Uh, set battle mode is a must. Um, trainer ID, I'm not sure what that is. Heal, the, my big questions were healing inside battle, whether that's allowed or not. Um, we'd have to decide on that. And then whether we wanted to do the Iron Mon rules or not. And how we feel about grinding. <laughs> That's the other big question. Are we allowed to grind? Or is grinding forbidden? My idea was to... There's the, the website that I was talking about. Nuzlocke.app Here, I can... Uh open this real quick over here. I don't think there's any sort of... Yeah. Yeah, no, there's nothing personal on here. Let me change cameras here. Once it loads. There we go. So this is the, the Nuzlocke.app website. It's pretty cool. It has like different Nuzlocke's um, helpers for all of the different games. It's not perfect. For instance, I noticed in route, what is it, route 22 here? I believe it is. Yeah, it only lists like Rattata and Spiro. But, or no, was it route 2? I, I can't remember which route it is off the top of my head, but there's a route leading toward the uh, Elite Four where you can catch Nidoran very early in the game, obviously. And uh, both male or female Nidorans. And I don't see that listed here anywhere. But you can override it. So, like, say it's Route 22. You can just, like, search for Nidoran. And then you can just force it in there. That way, if you're using, like, a randomizer or whatever, it works. Or, again, if it's not perfect. And then you can add stuff to your... What, you can say whether it's been captured or not. And you can also add it to your team. So you know what's on your team up here. And then you can also kill it off. <laughs> and it gives you a little thing. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I like the site. I'm probably going to end up using it either way. But your starter is based off the left. Oh, okay. Yeah, to randomize your starter that way. Um, I usually just like roll a die. Or that's like what I was thinking to do. But that makes a lot more sense. Because <laughs> it would all be on screen that way. 1 to 3 is Bulbasaur, 4 to 6 is Squirtle, 7 to 9 Charmander, 0 you get a pick. I like that, yeah. Can I suggest a name that... A name the next Pokemon... Oh, yeah. Um, Do we not still have... Suggest a poll, hero request. Yeah, name generator. We could just use that for it. Then whatever people pick as the, the name, we would just name the next Pokemon that or whatever. Oh, but anyways, what I was going to say for, for grinding, since it has the, the nice feature of showing us like when the next bosses are, my idea was whatever the next boss, quote unquote, is that the game expects you to play or the app expects you to play, you're just not allowed to uh, grind above that level. It's kind of my idea for the grinding if we limit it at all but i guess it also depends because like technically i think you can do like giovanni before erica uh, it looks like oh they're the same anyways 29 either way Udaving or whatever it was yeah whenever we fix lele's copy of pokemon red yeah it also shows you what all is in your box and what's in the grave so I really like this site. <laughs> I've never heard of it before. I just, I was searching for like Pokemon Red Nuzlocke to get like a bit of an idea on it or whatever. And uh, it popped up and I was like, damn, dude. Yeah, it has like all of the games all the way up to, uh, it has some prom hacks as well. But Sword, Shield, Scarlet, Violet, like Ultra Sun Ultra. Yeah, I think it has literally all of them. What is New Generations? What is this? I don't even know what New Generations is. It must be some sort of... Xan? Jimmy or Joey? Wait, what? 
A level 1 Rattata and a level 20 Rattata? What is this? This has to be some sort of hack, man. I'm guessing gym leader. Ah! <laughs> 2x? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm really. What is the 2x? Does that mean you have. It's a. Oh, it's a double battle. Wait. Victory Road right? What's Victory Road left? Oh, on the Indigo Plateau? Oh, Jesus. A level 100 shit? Anyways, I have no idea what this is. Uh, but yeah, no, if anybody if anybody does a uh, a Nuzlocke, I, again, I highly suggest it. It's, oh god, that's bright. It's a cool site. I'll be using it for mine, that's for sure. Anyways, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I, uh... I'm done with Jet X Duo, and uh, <laughs> as much as I like talking about, you thought it said was locked. You're a was locked. You was locked. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know what it means. I'm sorry. I'm saying words. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited for Pokemon. Whenever we get around to it, that's all. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. You always keep your corpses. Words are just things, yeah. I mean, man, I haven't seen that in a long time. Press start to begin. But yeah, like keep them in a box so that you can go back through at the end of the game. See all the Pokemon that had to die <laughs> for you to get it to where you were. I like it. There's also other Pokemon challenges that would be fun someday. Like the uh, the Monotype challenge. I don't remember if I had like using the words right. But uh, where you just use a team of a single type. So, like, you know, fire, water, grass, electric, etc., etc. Um, your entire team has to be that one type. There's also the one where it's, like, a single Pokemon. You just, uh, you get one single Pokemon for the entire game. That, I think, would be best mixed with a randomizer. So that it was, like, one of the three starters, and that's the only Pokemon you gotta use for the entire game. Things like that. Forgot we were talking about Pokemon. Is very caught off guard by corpses. Yeah. <laughs> My basement's just full of corpses, you know? I like to remember where I caught them at, so... I just put a little sticky note on their... <laughs> on their body. <laughs> reminding me. It's fucking morbid, dude. Jesus Christ. I don't have bodies in my basement, by the way. That's, that's a joke. Um, we're talking about Pokemon. I keep Pokemon. <laughs> Horses in my basement. <laughs> They're actually just squishmallows, but <laughs> the groundhog. I uh, so update on the groundhog thing. I guess um, I'm fairly certain it's gone. Uh, if anybody saw the stream where Noodle was freaking out about it a while back, when it wasn't, she was in the tub, not the groundhog. Noodle was in the tub and it was making a bunch of noise under the tub. Anyways, it did it for like a few nights. Uh, shortly thereafter. I don't know if it was in a row or not. Um, but I finally went and bought some supplies to fill the holes with it. And we've been listening. I filled the hole probably like four or two holes. One on each side of the house. Probably like four-ish days ago. And uh, filled them and then put concrete <laughs> in the holes so that it couldn't just dig back out the same areas. And we haven't heard anything in the basement. Um, I haven't been in the basement. It's a real pain to get down there, but we haven't heard anything in there So I don't believe that it's down there and it hasn't dug any new holes that I've been able to find so Fingers crossed it's gone and maybe from having the uh, the holes patched my My pipes won't freeze as much this year because that would be that would be really nice My pipes froze like a motherfucker last year granted last year was a very cold year, but still he was just a friend. He can be a friend from outside. I'm all with Noodle on this one, man. I don't have a problem with the groundhog, you know? If it wants to eat... Sometimes I throw kitchen scraps outside, you know? If it wants to eat those or gnaw on some of the, the... Do groundhogs eat grass? I'm assuming they eat, like, grass and just plant matter in general, right? They can just eat that, like, stuff from my yard and shit. I don't care. Hell, if it wants to, like, chill on my porch to get out of the snow or rain or whatever... I'm cool with that even, but I don't want you in my house, you know? 
outside the house. Raise him as a kitty? How about if I catch him, I'll bring him to your house, Lele, and then uh, you can have him. He can be your friend that you raise as a kitty in your house. I think that sounds fair. <laughs> I'm all for that. Okay, if I catch him, I will let him know, and I will give him to you. <laughs> He's all yours. <laughs> Gang up on Katie with the other two. They don't gang up on her. They're not that rude. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Uh, I'm good on all that. <laughs> in real life. I'll catch them all in video games, man. That's that's where I'm at. Oh. Um, I'm gonna... Because, like, we're still talking and shit. I'm just gonna switch over to the analog pocket real quick. Just to, uh... Because I've never... I don't think I've ever actually, like, shown the analog pocket what it looks like on stream before. So I'm just gonna do that, cause Press why not? We're here anyways. So just one sec, I just have to switch over my shit. To the right view. Problem is, I'm not going to know when it, like, switches to the right one. <laughs> Hold on. Switch my monitor. That'll tell me. Hey! hey there it is. The new one? Yeah. No, I did get a new one. Thankfully. I mean, so I wish my old one showed up. I would still love if it did show back up. If whoever uh, stole it or whatever. Or picked it up or whatever the case may be. If they turned it in. That would be that would be awesome. But I don't expect it to happen, sadly. The new one. Form an army of groundhogs. Use them to conquer, defend a large patch of unoccupied. What the hell? <laughs> Sleep pocket sounds like a cozy note. It really does, doesn't it? There is a patch of unoccupied land right next door. Oh my god, it's loud. As you can see, I've been playing Pokemon Red. So this is my this is my save on Pokemon Red. I uh, randomized the team uh, before I started playing. And then I have caught a couple other Pokemon, but I'm only using a T. Oh, is it too loud? Hold on. Turning it down a little bit. There you go. That should be a little more reasonable, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to play through the game before we end up doing the Nuzlocke just to re-familiarize myself with it because it's been a long time. And uh, you think Chocobo was jam? I mean, I didn't turn it off. He just has to ignore my big mouth. Uh, but I didn't want to just do like a normal playthrough of it because I've done that, you know? Although it's been a while. I've done that already. So instead, I before I started playing the game, I randomized a team using a, a random tool that I found. And as I'm going through the game, like whenever I get to the point I can get that Pokemon, I've been capturing it and using it. But in the meantime, I've just been using um, or any of the Pokemon I catch that aren't part of that or whatever I've just been putting in the box but for the most part I've just been skipping catching them anyways so yeah that's that's my team it's been going well I haven't whited out at all but I have died a few times I'm not gonna lie although I am very much over leveled for where I'm actually at in the game um because I'm only like if I grab ducks here because I'm only here you know route whatever I don't remember what this route is called and of course I don't have the the town map but going down <laughs> to there, you can see where. You know what I'm doing. Mouse it for the special in ops. You can have them to form a special unit to find, <laughs> hunt down the analog pocket. What the hell is going on? 
It's not like my cats who drown my the cat. Oh, that's sad. That's really sad, dude. Katie does drown her toy mice in her water bowl her cage from time to time. I don't think I can, uh... Or I don't think she's trying to drown them. I think she just, I don't know, drops things and she's lazy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, this is the analog pocket. This is playing on a real cartridge, this version of the game, right now. Um, this is my actual Pokemon Red cartridge, and for that reason, with the analog pocket, when you're on a real cartridge, you can switch your, your modes as well. So that's emulating the original Game Boy. It probably looks... It actually doesn't look too bad on stream. I thought it would look a lot worse, but that emulates like an original Game Boy screen. There's also the Game Boy Pocket, the Game Boy Pocket Lite. And then uh, the Pinball Neon Matrix, which I'm not 100% sure what that was, but apparently it was a thing. So it can emulate all those modes where you just have, like, the the default mode, which honestly is probably the best one. You have a couple other, like, options as well for, um, if I go to settings, pocket system, Game Boy, you can do other things like change your color palettes, you know, if you want it to look green or purple, or blue, or mint, or whatever. You can do that, frame blending, sharpness, all that, just normal stuff. It's really cool, the Game Boy Pocket is. And then, uh, you can also make save states on real hardware, so that's cool. I've been, in case the battery dies on me, I've been save stating every time I save, or almost every time I save. Um, and then if we quit the cartridge, They also had, well, the library is pretty cool. Um, I like the library function. These ones don't have images because I didn't have images set up on the SD card yet whenever I loaded the games last, whereas Pokemon Red does. So it keeps track of like how long you've been playing the games, roughly, um, as long as you've been playing like the actual physical cartridge and then uh, like when you first played it and all that stuff to have like a, a library, which is pretty cool. But then you have open FPGA, and this is the coolest part, I think, is that they opened it up so uh, third-party developers can um, make their own FPGA cores, so like hardware recreations um, on a chip of different game systems. So you have like the Super Game Boy, which is really cool. You can actually run the cartridge in the system as if it was running in a Super Game Boy. So you get like the the outline here and all that stuff, and the special color palette for, like, Super Game Boy enhanced games, like Pokemon, as an example. So that's really cool. Uh, and then, of course, you can also do stuff like, if I go to, not Game Boy Color, to the Game Boy, you can also load up, like, hacks and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of different Pokemon hacks, all the ones I was talking about, and then a few other ones loaded up that we could run here um these are just copies of my backup of pokemon but for different things that i was thinking of doing at some point and they run just like you would expect so if i just load up pokemon red on here the only downside is with doing it this way um you can't change the screen mode like you would on the actual analog pocket you're stuck with whatever screen mode whatever the default screen mode is and then at least for the Game Boy core that I'm using, that's what they call the emulator's cores, um, it automatically runs the games as if it was running on a Game Boy Color. So you get some coloration like you would on the Game Boy Color. Not a huge deal. And there might be a setting somewhere to change it. But you can also do like consoles, like the Super Nintendo run games. So like I have Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo rip that and put it on here and like mm, let's go you can just play super mario world on this thing and it's like i i really like it guys it's really cool cats are the green braids they chill but if you need them they'll fuck shit up or it's a monday and they're bored and they may also get fucked up wait what <laughs> bro are you still going on about your animal army that you're trying to make Last night at Tekken Beta, I'm at work. 
Sounds like you need a pallet jack to actually catch, accidentally catch both feet. Minor accident with your work knife. Ooh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no, I would say, I would say PPTO. You're saving it for holidays? Fair. What are you going to do? Just take like a week off during Christmas? <laughs> I've started saving my PPTO up just for uh, like if there's any problems getting to work because of the roads and things like that. I meant to save a little bit more up than what I did, but uh, I don't remember what happened. But I ended up being late one day for some reason. And I was like, well, fuck it. If I can't, if I can't save up like in whole days, then what's the point even? No, you haven't, Mr. Late. I haven't been late much lately. I've been late a couple of times, but not like that much. But anyways, now I'm just fucking around with Mario because I love Mario. Yeah, because you've been on vacation. <laughs> no, I was on time today. Thank you. I wasn't on vacation today and I wasn't late. Cut my hand while getting a bag. I mean, that's fair. Things do happen. I can't argue with that. I was. Yes, I was. I have not, but I have been thinking about it. Thought you said you were late? No, I wasn't late today. I wasn't like super early or anything, but I wasn't late. But anyways, yeah, no, I I, I have been thinking of loading up a uh, a Kaizo game of some sort, um, Kaizo ROM hack, but I haven't done any of them. Now that I have something like this, maybe. I would, because, like, having the ability to save state, I, it, it's technically cheating, I understand that, but, like, <laughs> having the ability to save state is huge. Oh, this is gross. Uh, hold on. I do not like... Oh, goddamn. Can I change... Kind of like the non-square pixels. Anyways, no, the, uh, <laughs> I need to change the buttons. Is there a way? Controls. Here we go. Um, A button, or that was B. That needs to be A. This needs to be B. So I don't really care what the other ones are. A turbo can be that. B turbo can be that. At least for Mario, it needs to be this way. Because you need to be able to hold... Oh, shit, I got the buttons backwards. But anyways. <laughs> you need to be able to hold B down while to run. Ah! The whole console uses Nintendo settings. Okay, so this should be A. This should be B. There we go. So this would be A turbo. This would be B turbo. There we go. The whole console uses Nintendo button layout, which makes sense, of course, but it screws me up whenever I play most of my games on, you know, on the PS2. start the game. Wait, what? He has five of them being held hostage from me? What did I miss? Hopefully won't be an employee after the holidays. Oh, where you currently work at? Yeah, hopefully. Oh, best employee ever because you were two and a half hours early. You didn't really have a choice, though, to be honest. Like, Chocobo was nice enough to pick up four. He was... Yay, Chocobo Boo Stream. They're Christmas presents. What do you want? <laughs> if I give her to them now, or if I give her them now, she won't have any Christmas presents. That's just rude. You gotta pick one out the other day. I told you I would pay for it for you, but it would be a Christmas present. Or you could just buy it yourself. That was up to you. I used to be able to speed run this level. I don't think I still can, man. Damn, dude. 
<laughs> I can't even get over the first fucking piranha plant. That's what happens when you don't play this game for a long ass time. I don't think I'm jumping early enough. <laughs> God, I suck so bad at this game. I had, I think it's a, uh, I think it's privated, but I do have an old speed run of uh, this game on YouTube. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. It was only like my second or third attempt at it. At least like recorded attempt. So I was happy enough with it. Oh, that was slow. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> I suck so much. Willy is the alpha molo of the pack? 100%, man. 100%. Here, this is what I need. Oh, you know what? That's what I was doing, I think, at the time to make things a little bit easier on me. I wasn't getting this one. I was getting this um, mushroom. It would have been a mushroom if I didn't already have one. Because I sucked at this jump right here. Even with the damage boost, I didn't, I didn't fucking get it. But anyways, you can jump up there without taking a hit. But I sucked at it, so I'm pretty sure I, I took the hit. And just used the mushroom to get through it. And then I think I fucked up pretty bad at the end of the game too. Was another reason why I didn't. But anyways, I'm obviously just fucking around now. I have to look up a good, uh... A good, like, beginner Kaizo. That's... I'm terrible. Oh, I'm up there? <laughs> okay. I didn't realize I was up there. Just kill me. You have two Malcolms, 14 inch, you think, and a clip. He's your favorite. Noodle has a shit ton of uh, squish, to be clear. A shit ton. <laughs> uh, what was it, love? 70 something? Like, it's a lot. I don't remember the exact amount. What's a Kaizo? A Kaizo is a uh, remix of a game um, generally made harder, a lot harder. I forget what Kaizo technically means, because it is just a Japanese word um, that means something. Kaizo translation. Yeah, Kaizo means like modification, rebuild, or reconfiguration. As far as I know, it started in the Mario community um, with, I'm pretty sure the hack was just called Kaizo Mario. And it was just a really hard version of Mario. And uh, they slowly gained more and more popularity, especially like as Twitch streaming started to take off more because it became pretty popular for, you know, different Twitch streamers to play through them and try to beat them and shit like that. Um, and now they're just popular across all different kinds of games. Celeste, like Chocobo just mentioned, has a, a couple cool ones. Um, Mario, of course, there's a bunch of them. Oh my god, dude. I still didn't even make the jump. I suck. Um, Pokemon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's Pokemon Kaizo hacks. Like, there's all there's all kinds of them, man. Um, but there's some really good Mario ones. Most of the good Mario ones are done in Super Mario World. Because Super Mario World has a lot better editing tools, like level editors, than um, Super Mario Bros. 3 does. Although, I think think they started sorry i'm just changing the category since i'm fucking around in this anyways um since they yeah there's better level editing tools now for super mario brothers 3 than there was once upon a time so like there is that but still most of them are done in whatchamacallit in super mario world there's like a Grand Poo World I know is some really popular ones made by 
Oh, man. My mind is terrible. I can't remember the dude's name. I just took a hit. Well, okay, I kind of got up here. <laughs> I can't fucking... <laughs> this is what happens when you don't even attempt to speedrun a game in... Like, eight years? Something like that? It's been a long time, man. Chocobo Enthusiast just redeemed Hydrate. That's it. I'm empty. Google Squishmallow plus your name and that's who you are. I'm curious now. Squish Mallow my name. Uh, images. Bro, what is that thing? Is it a worm? <laughs> it's a caterpillar. I'm a fucking caterpillar with glasses. I can feel it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh. It's a bat. Nice. What's yours, Lele? Okay, I'm just gonna actually beat the game. Or at least start working toward it. I don't know if we're gonna be playing long enough to actually beat it. I am meant to be, like, getting off now. A llama? <laughs> I can see it. You seem like a llama type of person. Snail. I want to see the snail one. I didn't even know they had snails. Or caterpillars, for that matter. Like, I didn't know that was a thing. I feel like... It's probably because I'm playing, like, through OBS using a controller with Bluetooth and whatnot. But whenever I had my first pocket, I noticed that it seems like there's a bit of lag... ...in the inputs. It just feels a little bit off. I don't know if it's the, the core, if it's because I'm playing through OBS, or if it's because of the Bluetooth controller. But when I, I played through and finished... I don't remember if it's Super Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario World on my first one. My first pocket. And uh, I noticed that everything just felt a little... a little wrong. Like, not to the point to where I couldn't do it, but like, yeah. Probably just take some getting used to, honestly. Uh, I don't even want to go up there. I think they're like... Eh, whatever. There's one over here. I couldn't remember if there was a power-up in there somewhere, but there's this one right here, so screw it. Just do that one instead. Cocker Spaniel? That sounds cute. Recite llamas with hats too perfect. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, of course you can. Then get it, love. Kind of surprised you don't already have it. All things considered. I never did get this level down perfectly. People can just, like, run through this level so freaking quickly, man. It's amazing. Honestly, the only level I had, like, down pretty well was the first one. <laughs> because it was the first level. Like I said, my speed run time, I don't remember what it was on uh, Mario here, on Mario 3. It wasn't amazing. It was, in my opinion, decent. Someone named Gorm? That collects coins? That's cute. That it collects coins. But Gorm? <laughs> Who the hell? What is Gorm? Is that is that a name that's popular, like, somewhere else? I've never heard of Gorm before. You did show him to me? I do not remember it. I'm sorry, love. 
He's a Viking. Ah, I'm trying to remember it. Collecting coins sounds somewhat familiar, but I do not remember. Just to be perfectly honest, like, dragon in a Viking hat? That's cute. Jesus Christ, man! Oh my god. <laughs> Something just feels off about the game. I'll just hook up my Nintendo real quick, throw my cart in, and we'll just play it that way. You have a single Molo? Wait, you only have one? I'm surprised, to be honest. Oh, Togepi, yeah. Noodle has... Is it all of the Pokemon ones, or are you missing one of them? I feel like Noodle might be missing a Pokemon Squish, but... I don't remember. Don't need Pip Pluff, okay. So not all of them, just basically all of them. Santa Pikachu? Oh, bastard. That sounds cute. Debating on winking Pikachu. It's another thing I can't do, is get down there. Without taking a hit. I've only ever done it like three times in my life. That's a trap, dude. Just <laughs> don't even go for it. Why did it not jump? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bluetooth. I blame it all on Bluetooth. I'm taking it the easy way out. I'm going under the ship. You avoided them because you have a collect. That's fair. Noodle should do the same, but she doesn't, sadly. It wasn't supposed to get this badge for me. You also have a problem with collecting things, though, love. You're the same way. It was makeup when we first got together. Collecting a shit ton of makeup. And now that you're not collecting a bunch of makeup, now it's Squish. And then whenever you finally start getting tired... Or no, then it was Pokemon cards for the both of us. And then after Pokemon cards, it was, uh... It was Squish. Socks. Did you really collect socks, though? You had a bunch of socks. But I wouldn't say you really collected them. You have a lot of makeup, too? Yeah. Noodle has just so much. And like you, actually, she hardly ever even, like, really does her makeup. So it's like, <laughs> it's just kind of ridiculous. Oh, I suck so bad. Game systems, yeah. I don't really collect like, special editions of game systems and stuff like that. But I do have, you know, most of the game systems. Just not, like, the limited edition ones or anything along those lines. Just just the game systems. Oh, you bastard. I know there's a mushroom here somewhere. Breaks over? Damn, dude. Well, have fun not playing Tekken. <laughs> no, man. <I'm, laughs> sorry. That was a little rude. <laughs> have a good night, man. You don't have time anymore because the kids you used to wear makeup every day? That's fair, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I've never been a makeup person. <laughs> it's a big surprise, I know, but... Yeah, that's... Yeah, she was pulling it out the other day because Noodle and I went to a party the other night. And it was, uh... The first time she had, like, done her makeup in a while, right? I mean, not like a super long time. Killed myself. Not like a super long time or anything, but a while. And, uh, she pulled it out and the mirror was cracked. And it... The makeup itself, like, the, the eyeshadow itself was probably fine. Um, just have to, like... <laughs> blow out the little shards of glass. Um, damn, dude. But other than that... You have an hour after work? Perfect. That's all you need, man. Oh. 
Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I'm telling you, I never used to struggle with this shit, man. It's so bad. You don't let me do it anyways. <laughs> when I was younger, I had a problem with makeup. Like, I would swell up and get hives and shit. Oh god. Well, eh, whatever. So I just avoid it because it's not worth the allergic reaction. Assuming I, I, assuming I would still even get one, but like, yeah. Sugar pill, burning heart. Tis rough, man. Tis rough. They're shard. I don't know, man. I say just go for it. Shards of glass and all, you know. Why not? Oh no. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Of course this is like I'm dead. Son of a bitch. Oh I'm just gonna blame my controller, it's fine. You've never had any skin issues with makeup? It was only like my si oh, damn it, I did that like the same thing. Uh, my sister used to like do m makeup on me when I was younger. You know, she's my older sister. I was a young kid, so she would just put makeup on me because that's what older sisters do. I feel like, anyways. And then like, I just randomly started occasionally getting hives from it, like out of nowhere. And then one time at church during a uh, a play, I started like they put makeup on me, even though I told them like that, hey, I had problems with being allergic to makeup. I don't think I should have any on, but they forced me to for the play, and then I had a reaction to it. So kind of got, like, scarred, I guess, from it. Not, like, literally scarred, but just had a bad experience with it. Um, so, yeah, I just, like, didn't put on makeup again, because why would I? Highly recommend sugar pill. Wait, you've never heard of sugar pill? Like, ever? Just in general? I thought you just meant that you hadn't heard of that specific... ...palette. Not sugar pill in general. That's surprising. I feel like sugar pill is a pretty well-known brand. Too Faced? I've heard of Too Faced. I've heard of ColourPop. I've heard of Irving Decay. I don't think I've ever heard of Kylie. What is Kylie? Is that like a Kylie Jenner <laughs> or something? Like, very well known in the drag community. Are you calling Lily a drag um, performer? It is Kylie Jenner. Gross. Sorry, I'm not a fan of the Jenners. I'm sure her makeup line's fine, but... A well-known I'm the drag? I didn't notice you said I'm the drag. Skincare and makeup's really good. I'll take your word for it. I don't know. Never. <laughs> Honestly, didn't even know she had one. Oh, God. That scared me. I thought I was gonna die again. You're a bastard. Hydrate? I literally don't have anything left to drink. Lily I can't hydrate. Just redeemed hydrate. I mentioned earlier, it was empty. Here, I might be able to get, like, a drop out of it for you. There you go. There was, like, five drops in there. You're welcome. Oh, my God. It's already 3 o'clock. I should be getting off, man. Need to beat this level though. It really annoys me that I died on it like three times, four times. Never heard, never heard of sugar pie. That sucks, man. Never heard of sugar pie. Oh god, okay. I didn't think I was gonna live. Uh, just go. Let those things get like as far off the screen as possible. No, the fucking fire! Oh my god. When I was younger, 
I hated this level so much that I would, even though you don't have to play through the entire first level to uh, to warp to the final world here, or the first world to get to warp to the final world here, I would. I'd play clear up into the castle just so I could get the fucking P-Wing so I could just fly over this entire level. I actually haven't struggled like this with it in a long time, but I've always struggled more with this level than any other level in this fucking game. Because of these things. The fucking moles or whatever these things are. They're rude. And again, something with playing on the pocket, man. At least the pocket docked. I haven't tried, like, with the pocket just in handheld mode. That's what I need to do. Because that would tell me if it's a problem with, like, the core. Or if it's a problem with the, like, Bluetooth and playing through OBS and all that shit. Watching you fail to try... Okay, here. I'll actually... I'll actually pay attention and try once. If I, if I fail, then we're just done. One time. One more time. Because it's time for me to get off too, yeah. Noodles ready to lay down. I'm ready to lay down. It's getting late. I gotta get through these fucking hands first, though. I actually don't remember. No, I gave you the Harry Potter ones, right? Those weren't for Christmas. Right? It was just the, uh... Damn you. Oh. Well, then where'd I put them? I don't remember where I put them. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. <laughs> but I don't remember where. So you might get them for Christmas. You might not. We'll see. The groundhog stole them? Maybe. They might have, man. <laughs> Bye! Have a good night! like the same spot again okay yeah now i'm done <laughs> if i ever do get back into playing this game i don't think this is the setup we're going to use although you can wire a controller to the analog dock um that might fix it because my best guess honestly is that it's bluetooth that's giving me so much trouble with it but uh anyways guys yeah we were done like an hour ago so i'm gonna get off have a wonderful night thank you all for coming and hanging out and uh i'll see you in a couple of days oh and be kind to each other bye y'all